Besides hair removal and skin whitening, skin tightening, there is another hand piece and there is another application. There is a vascular hand piece. This is how it looks like. You do have the cooling tip in here. You do have the laser tip over there. It's a round shaped spot, but there is an active rectangle, three by four mm. And it's pretty good for telangiectasias, angiomas, hemangiomas, port wine stains, or so for example, leg veins. And this is what we are doing here now. We prepare everything, patient's consent, photo documentation, you can cool a little bit. You should not worry, especially in telangiectasias or hemangioma, and um, for uh, vasoconstriction due to the fact that it will not constrict so much and tilling ectasia might be different it's okay to use for something like two to three seconds just only the cooling tip if you would like to be super safe you can go for a cool pack not an ice pack so four to eight degrees is the best in order to avoid any kind of uh, freezing reactions on the skin um, hypothermia uh, problems what are we doing here we are checking once more the skin type the size so the diameter of the vessel and the device will come up with a recommendation let's go and see what it uh, what it tells us for this kind of case so we are going for indication vascular leg veins proper uh, skin type let's say small and thin this is in proper way to start up with those um, recommendations are always on the safe side you might increase when if you see a collapse of the vessel immediately after application of the laser then you are on the safe side this is the clinical ending point you would like to see if you watch very closely you can see it might be that there is a little dark area which is co coagulated hemoglobin and this is where you spot next for vessels which are deeper you go for in perpendicular kind of handling that means 90 degrees if you have deeper vessels, deeper indications, deeper locations. Um, otherwise, you go for something like 45 degrees and you're always treating upstream. You are starting where the vessel goes to, where you barely can see it, and then you go upstream. Preparation. At first you go for a compression test, that means you check out the, about the bloodstream. So that means, just only like this, this is the way the blood goes. The blood flows from here to there. Once again here. So it's quite easy. If this compression test is not enough, then just try to put it like that. Or like that start in the very end where you can barely see the vessel start with a 90 degrees and then work against the flow like 45 in this depth I would like to show you that right away once more please react on this video if you would like to have further information more treatments more patients more cases let us know we are happy to serve you well in this case, let's start with this patient. Let's start the treatment. First things first, and first things is cooling. We have applied some gel. We pre-cool the area first. Don't press too much. Press pressure is compression on the vessel. So after pre-cooling, once again, deeper vessels, 90 degrees, more superficial vessels 
45 degrees. Come closer. Here we go. Three to one. Three to one. Three to one. It might be a little bit painful. Three to one. Here we go. And shot. Next one. Here we go. Shot. This was 90 degrees in this vessel. Then we go ahead, pre-cooling, always maintaining good contact with the patient. Here we go, three to one. And two more, three to one. And three to one. Good contact, good cooling, maintains uh, literally pain-free treatment.